Factions once again for another episode of the Fashions Let's Play. And if you haven't already, make sure to slap that like button and turn on the notification bell because we got a brand new series for you guys today. If you haven't noticed, we're on a completely different server, different realm. We are on the demonic realm here on Vandy MC. And there's a couple of reasons why we are switching to this server. Actually, a lot of reasons why, to be honest. And we're going to get into that real quick. But first of all, guys, if you guys didn't know, on Runic, we actually got raided twice, I'm pretty sure. And a lot of our members actually quit on Tokyo, and a lot of them came over here to play on Demonic. So that's a big reason why, because I, I, I literally have no one to play with on there. But the biggest reason why we are playing on Demonic opposed to Runic is if we do slash F top over here, it's about a day in so far. There's so much competition here on Demonic. We got Nug playing, we got Ibiza, we got Spook. All the big factions are coming out to play here on Demonic, and every single YouTuber is playing on here. Royal... I don't know if Target's playing. I know Candy's playing. I know there's another YouTuber in our faction named Modest who's one of the OG faction YouTubers. Is he online right now? Okay, yes, he is. So Moss is online. He's going to be grinding with us. And what faction we are in, guys? I don't know. The tablet isn't working right now. But look what faction we are in, guys. We are in the best faction in the whole entire server. We're in freaking Karma. So if you're not a faction professional and you don't know about all these OG factions, Karma is basically the most dominant faction ever created on like factions in general they dominate every single server they ever play i know the second best faction spook will be playing this server and that's rose and candy's faction so we need to watch out for them but honestly i'm sort of glad to be in the strongest faction of the whole entire server which means we're going to get raids we're going to pvp easily and if we go into our f home right over here look at how much work we have done oh i think i need a tp out before i go there all right there we go we're finally at our base it's been about 24 hours since the maps come out and these guys are the fastest faction I've ever seen when it comes to base work. They built this cane farm in literally an hour. It took them an hour to build this whole entire thing. Our herbalism is only 238, so we need to get that up. And if we do slash PV1 right over here, we do have something that we can level up for today's video, which is the satanic hoe. So if you guys remember on Runic, you guys can actually upgrade this thing by doing slash upgrade. And uh, if we do that real quick over here... We can level this thing up and we can get a lot of things on here. So if we right click this satanic hoe over here and head towards enchantment, we can get a bunch of cool enchants on here, but we do need tokens in order to get this. And I do not know how many tokens I currently have on me. I need to figure out slash token bow. Is that the command or token bounce? Canadian craft MC. Maybe is that it? Uh, no. Okay. No, that's not it either. All right. So there we go. It says we have 39,000 tokens in total. So we can actually upgrade this right now because I've been grinding cane for the past couple of days or past couple of hours. We can go over here. We can right click this and we can, let's see, which one should we go for first? Gives you a ram chance to sell your inventory and vortex bags. Gain tokens on expedite rate. Expedite rate. I think the one we want to go for most is, is the possess enchant to be honest. Since we get more cane from each hit, which means more money, which means more selling. So we're going to go try to upgrade this right away. We're going to waste all our tokens on this one. And uh, maybe we're going to go one on each of these. Yeah, so we upgrade our profit, we upgrade our destruction, and we upgrade our possess. And uh, look at that. Look at how nice that is. I saw Royals vid, and he upgraded this thing in his video, and he got his really, really high up. But he actually did it through monthly crates and a bunch of stuff like that. So I think that's what we're going to do. I do have one of those in my PV, actually, or in my E chest, I'm pretty sure. There we go. We got one monthly crate. And uh, this is very similar to the one on Runic, I'm pretty sure. So let's see what you can get. You can get 100k tokens, which probably, which is what we want, and a million tokens from the final rewards. We're going to store all of our armor inside our PV1 over here, and we're going to quickly open this up and see if we can get anything. So three, two, one, bang. Oh, no, I got to place it down, boys. Okay, there we go. I love this freaking animation. Oh, my God, so loud. What the hell? You're breaking my eardrums. Oh, it's lagging a little bit, but let's just see what we can get. Come on, give me something decent give me a rank give me don't give me spars please 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 come on uh, oh my four vanity keys all right you know what i'll take that gladly and what else did we get from this stuff we got two epic keys we got a couple million dollars uh some eight creep rigs some great keys and with the amount of money that we just got from that i'm gonna pay my faction bot actually so we can deposit all that money and contribute to the whole entire faction. So we're going to pay the faction bot $6 million. There we go. And then now we're going to go back to spawn. And I think we can open our crate. Oh, I just messaged it. I'm a such I'm such a noob. What the hell? We got to pay it, not message it. There we go. Slash pay faction bot $6 million. 
and we're gonna head to slash spawn and we're gonna open up a couple of these crate keys actually which we did get from that monthly crate my boy ice card just called me out useless partner useless partner gg unlike the other one what the hell come on man ice cards compare me to mods which is one of the faction pros in her in her faction but uh, come on man i'm not a useless partner why you gotta be so mean all right here we go vandy plus keys how many we got five of these vandy plus keys so we're gonna open five of these and see what we can get real quick what i like about these keys actually is that you can re-roll on them which is very very useful so let's just see what we can get from these crate keys give me something baby 500 mc memo axes let's freaking go if there isn't a an axis cap this is actually very very useful because we can actually use skull crusher to break armor super easily so i'll gladly take that does it automatically go to my axis right away or can i just do slash redeem mc memo is that a command no it's not all right so it looks like it goes to my axis right away so that's a bit of an op start i wonder what the mc top on axis is by the way okay so we're gonna be on the second page of that 4,000 axes already that's insane six squid spawners wait is squid spawners the eco on here or is this just complete trash i got no clue to be honest oh is it people are saying gg in the chat so it has to be good all right just asked one of my faction members and apparently squid spawners is the eco on here we're definitely gonna put that up into our base uh let's see what we can get from this other key we got three keys left 7.5 mil we're definitely going to deposit that into our faction bank there we go 7.5 mil for our faction bot that's another 7.5 mil we got two keys left so let's just see what we can get from these last two crate keys come on give me something good give me a rank give me something to give away another 7.5 mil again we're going to deposit that into our faction bank once again there we go another 7.5 mil and let's just see what we can get from this last crate key over here hopefully some money because you know we need that for the faction or maybe a rank maybe something i can give away to you guys magma cream 50,000 tokens okay that's exactly what we wanted we're actually going to use this straight to our hoe so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into slash upgrade over here and then we're going to go to our satanic hoe and again i think the best thing we should upgrade is possess because we can get more cane from that we're just going to evenly upgrade all these at once so we can get them up to the same level so there we go uh possess five destruction three essence spirit three and we're just going to upgrade possess till we have no more tokens okay there we go so what do we get up to possess six essence spirit three profit two destruction three all right so i'm currently back at the base over here and i'm just testing out this attack to see how much cane i can actually get and by the way to put it into perspective how much cane there is in this whole entire farm my computer is pretty good and if we go on the right side of my screen over here look at the fps drop when i'm mining cane i'm getting 40 50 fps while recording when i usually get around 200 to 300 i'm not too sure to be honest but i'm pretty sure it's auto selling the cane in my inventory because it says you have sold your inventory and bag contents for 84 dollars so maybe one of you can comment in the comment section to see if this is right because you know i'm still a bit new to vanity i'm still a bit new to all the things on here but as you guys see i haven't been grinding as much as i want to i only have 30,000 cane grind so far uh, which is not a lot because as you guys see i'm pretty sure a lot of people in our faction have their herbalism up to like 2k which is freaking crazy while i only have mine up to 245 but we're going to be grinding a lot off screen obviously uh but the first week of factions is basically just grinding and trying to get a bunch of money uh but with the spars that we got from over here i want to actually place these to end off today's video i'm actually going to ask one of my faction members to tp me to the squid farm real quick where is the squid farm i want to place all right so i actually just tp'd one of the co-owners towards me so we're just gonna give them quickly to him oh come on so bad what are you doing what are you doing so bad let me just tp accept and let me come towards you what are you doing buddy right, the worst factions player is here we're gonna give him our squid spawners and we're actually gonna dance with him because i figured out you can actually dance with Badline client and we're just gonna give him the quick dance oh my god he's going with us let's go so bad oh my god <laughs> oh wait what oh my god what the hell is going on this is this is minecraft in 2019 we got moderators and co-owners of factions literally dancing their butts off on video wait they're, they're all doing it they're all doing it why are they all dancing everyone's dancing what oh my god we're all dancing all right i think this is a good way to end off today's video guys if you guys enjoyed today's video of factions just make sure you leave a like and a comment down below for all what the heck is going on but if you guys enjoyed today's video just make sure you leave a like and a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next episode of factions